Facebook is a great platform to promote your business, but if you're already managing a Facebook business page, you must have realized it can be time consuming. So what about if your business has multiple locations and you are trying to maximize your business visibility on Facebook for each of those locations? Would you be willing to create and manage a separate business page for each of them? Do you really have the time? Luckily, you don't have to because Facebook lets you create individual location pages for each of your stores or offices. This feature not only allows you to manage all of your locations from your main Facebook business page, but also enables users to find your shop or office that is nearest to them, as well as increase your business visibility in Facebook local search results. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a separate location page for each of your business location and connect them to your main Facebook business page so it's easily manageable. I'm Luke Durand, the founder of rankingacademy.co.uk, where I help small business owners like you with their digital marketing efforts step by step and click by click. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, why don't you do it now and click on the bell button at the same time so you get notified as soon as I publish a new video. If you have a question, post it in the comments below and I will do my best to respond to it. Oh, and I almost forgot, if you can give me a thumbs up, that would be great. Time saving is not the only main advantage for managing a multi-location business on Facebook. Here is a list of other benefits you can expect when implementing this feature. A new menu item called location will appear on your page revealing a map with all your business locations mapped out. Users can use the search box to find locations in a specific area. Clicking on one of the pins will reveal a pop-up with the contact details and opening times of the selected location. Clicking on a link will open the specific location page for that business. Customers can leave reviews for each location page independently of your business page, giving each location the chance of being unique. Each page can be found through Facebook search, giving you additional opportunities for potential local customers to find your business. You have the ability to create posts from your main business page that will be published on all of your location pages at once, but you can also create individual posts for each location separately. As you can see, there are a lot of benefits when you add locations to your business page. Time for me to show you how it's done. Before you can start adding location pages, you need to enable the Facebook location feature for your business page. To do this, you can either access your Facebook Business Manager if you've already created an account. If you haven't, which is likely to be the case, simply log into your Facebook account and then go to the following address. business.facebook.com slash business underscore locations. Do not worry, the actual address is right in the description below. Once in there, select the business page for which you want to add locations from the drop down in the top left corner. Then click on Get Started. If your main business page has already got an address attached to it, you will see a warning message when you try to add locations. Facebook will consider your business page to be your principal page or the brand page, if you like. And every location page will be sub pages of the brand page and therefore cannot have a physical address attached to it. Simply tick the box, remove address. This will open a new option and Facebook will ask you whether or not you want to create a location page for the address you've just removed from your business page. You can either create a new page automatically or you can choose to permanently delete this address. Once you've made your selection, click next. You should now see a message that will confirm you've successfully created your page and that you're now ready to add location. So let's do that. Click the Add Locations button. You should now be on the page where you have three different methods of adding locations to your page. So let's go through them one by one. You can manually add a location and I will cover that in a minute. The other alternative is to add locations in bulk and to do that you will need to use a CSV template file. This file is provided by Facebook. I have put the link to access the CSV template in the description below. So if you have many locations to upload and you want to do that, you can simply download the file 
and use it there. The very last option is for those of you who already have location pages which you wish to import into the location manager. For the sake of this tutorial and because most of you will have no location set up, I will demonstrate how to add a location manually. All right, so let's go ahead and click on the manually add location option where you can start filling in the information for your location page. The first thing you're gonna notice once you're on this page is the name field, which is grayed out. The reason it's grayed out is because you cannot change it. By default, it will be the name of your business page and the location page address, which is directly pulled in from the location descriptor, which we're gonna cover in a second. The second option is your store number. This is very simple to fill in. Just enter a unique number for the location so it's easily identified in your list. Let's now move on to the location descriptor. The location descriptor is what will be included in the page title of your location page. So make sure that you actually add the location itself as it will make that location easier to find in Facebook search results. I'm going to put an example here so we are able to see exactly what it is when we check our page once it's completed. The rest of the information that you need to complete is simple enough. Just add the street address, the town, the postcode, uh, phone number, as well as category and opening hours. You can also do this later on, but you might as well do it now. Once you've completed the form, just save. You've now created a location for your business. Let's now create a second location for our business so I can demonstrate how powerful this new feature is. Simply click on add location again and go through the same process to add the second location. You should now see two different locations listed in your dashboard. Repeat this process for all your locations until completed. It's now time to verify if our location pages are visible on our main business page. So go to your main business page on Facebook and on the left hand side in the menu, you should now see an additional link that says location. If you cannot see it, click on see more. That should reveal all the options available on your page. I can see the location link has been added to the main navigation bar. So I'm just going to click on it. This will reveal a map where both locations I've just added are being displayed. So let's just verify them one by one, starting with the first one, bakery for you. So you can see it says location descriptor two, which is the dummy copy I originally put in the details. Obviously you wouldn't put that in there. You would just put the name of the location. And then when you click on the link, it will take you to the actual location page itself. When you create a new location page, by default, the Facebook cover will be identical to your main Facebook business page. It's important to make each location unique if you want them to work. Let's have a look at how we can personalize each location page. Go back to your main Facebook business page and click on settings. Once in there, scroll down to the location link in the navigation on the left hand side. Click on the link. This will open your business location dashboard where you can find all your locations. To edit one of the location pages, simply click on the link. It will open the page in a separate tab. You should now be able to customize your Facebook location page. Let's start by changing the Facebook cover for our first location. Once you've updated your Facebook cover, it's time to verify that all the details of this particular location are correct. Just go to the About section and verify one by one all the fields, including phone number, email, website, etc, etc. Add a story. Make sure you fill in as much information as possible so it is relevant to the local audience who will come across your location page. Repeat this process for each location until you're happy with it. Once you've updated all your location pages, verify that it actually displays the right content. Go back to your main business page, click on locations 
and click on the location in the map to access the page. You should see different results for each page. The last thing I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how powerful this feature truly is when it comes to publishing content. Before I do that, I'm just going to recap what we've done so far. So we've added two location pages to our main business page, which we can access from the left hand side menu by clicking on the link locations, which gives us access to the map and point out where our shops are. In addition to that, we've created two single location pages, which I have called location number one and location number two. Now let's have a look at what happens when we publish content on our main business page. I'm just going to create a post, which I'm going to publish on the main Facebook business page. And I've created an image earlier on, so I'm just going to load it now. Okay, let's publish it. Now it's published, you can see the actual promotion online on a main business page, but what about my locations? All right, so let's verify location number one. As you can see currently, I can't obviously see anything because I already had opened the tab, so I'm just gonna refresh the page. And there you go. You can actually see the promotional post displayed on the location page. What about location number two? All right, well, let's do exactly the same thing. Go to location number two page, refresh the page, and there you go. So whenever you actually post something on your main business page, it will be published on your location pages, which is great because then you don't have to publish new content on every single location page individually. But what about if you actually want to have different content and you don't want your posts from your main Facebook business page to be published on all location pages. You can actually do this in two different ways. Navigate back to your main Facebook business page and click on settings. Once in settings, click on the location link at the bottom of the menu. This will take you to your business location dashboard once again. But this time, instead of choosing one of the locations, we're just going to click on settings. This will give you options to actually control what's being published where. You have three options when it comes to publishing content. You can either always show the content that is being published on your main Facebook business page to all location pages, or only show on location pages that don't publish their own post. The final option is to never show it. Right below the local content page settings is a location tab settings. These settings allow you to control whether or not other locations are visible on your location pages. You can either allow them, allow them on mobile only, or don't allow them at all. Let's now have a look at how you can control how content gets published on the location page level. Just go to one of your location pages and click on settings. Once again, in the left hand side menu, just click on locations. From there, you will see a set of options which are very, very similar to what we've just covered. However, these options are specific to the location page. So you can do pretty much the same thing. You can either publish posts from the main page, show the nearby location pages, and this is also where you can modify the description of your location. One important thing to remember is by default, when you create a location page, visitors will not be allowed to publish on your timeline. In order to modify this, all you need to do is go to the general tab and click on visitor posts. If you want to allow visitors to publish to your page, simply just enable the first option. Make sure you tick the review post by other people before they are published, otherwise you may have some nasty surprises. Simply save your changes and you're all set. We're done for today. Thanks very much for watching. If you found this tutorial useful, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell button. For any comments or questions, post them right below the video and I will respond to them. Hope to see you soon. Happy marketing.